Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Anonymous Hacker Simulator episode number two. So in this soon to be uh, released game, uh, should be releasing on the 3rd of April 2024. So only a couple of days now for you guys. Uh, tomorrow actually, uh, thinking about it. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to continue on. You guys seem to really enjoy the first episode. Um, things are going to get harder. We don't know how much further I'm going to be able to get before I get really stuck, but we're going to keep going. And uh, we've got a main quest at the moment. We've got the Underground Pursuits. That's what we're working on. Uh, so we need to go to the computer. So let's have a read. Compile the source file of Alex Surge malware using the terminal on Cook. Okay, so we need Alex Surge malware. If we go into Hackify, uh, it's going to be one of these, right? No. Uh, malicious attacks. No. Malware. Malware. That's what we're looking for. So we got the corruptor. That's the one we got. So we are looking for a Lex Surge. Okay, so design to trigger a firmware anomaly emulating from effects of the power surge by altering the firmware's power management. $150. Okay, so what we'll have to do now is cook this. Anything you buy, uh, it's just called LL Surge, we have to cook. Uh, so don't forget that. People forget quite easily. So if we go cook, and then we go control V, there we go. No tech found. Oh no. Maybe it's called Alex Surge Malware. Okay, so it's running. It's doing what it needs to do. Then we've got to use our web search engines to look for information on IMB Power Edge uh, with the Harvester. Okay, so we're looking for the, we're looking for a file with Harvester, so we can uh, Harvester. There we go. So it's going to be looking around now for this PDF because what it wants us to do is uh, infiltrate the bank. I believe that's what we're going after here. See how we go. Okay, integrate the newly discovered MAC address into the source file LX Surge command inject. So it needs us to put in, um, so basically we, we want to find the, the MAC. Okay, so it has found server name, uh, access bank. Okay, RAM, BIOS, MAC. Okay, so here's the MAC here. I think that's all we need. Uh, we're going to find out in a second. Uh, I didn't press control and C, did I? Where's it gone? Okay, so the MAC address, control C, and then we're going to go here and go inject. This is the first, all right, that's not inject, that's uh, something completely different. Uh, S value here, which I think this is the file, and the target file exe is obviously the uh, malware. All right, let's see if this happens. It's injecting something. We'll find out if it works or not. Okay, so it's got the malware. Follow the instructions found in the electroguard.txt file inside the file directories. Is that my file directories or? Okay, electroguard file inside. What's the instructions then? Sent by anonymous. Electroguard service email has been breached. Okay, so we've got a GoMail login. So we're going to want to do this then for the Electric Guard. I'm assuming the Electric Guard is the people that look after the, the bank's electric key stuff, I think. I think that's what we're using it as here. Okay, we can log in. Uh, we need to compose an email to contact at Axis Bank. So we can compose. Uh, control V. Uh, the attack... Inform that the fires will arrive. Okay, so I don't think I need to put an attack in. We are giving them a... Is it a meeting? Inform them that a fire tech inspector will arrive ahead of the maintenance team. No, not meeting. Is it a report? No. Other, maybe? Ah, yeah, here we go. Please note that the fire tech inspector will arrive in the premises at 9.40 ahead of the maintenance team for scheduled 10 a.m. The fire tech will conduct the initial inspection. Okay, we can send that. That email is sent. There's nothing else in here for me by the looks of things. So we can log out. God, we're such a great hacker, aren't we? <laughs> okay, leave your apartment. Oh, okay, we're going to the bank. Okay. Um, do we have any points that we can spend here quickly? I got three CP points, actually. Um, 
Drain by three, or the uh, reduce your digital footprints by three. Anomaly factor is not too high, so penalty threshold is really what I want to bring down, I think. So if we bring that down, and we got one point left, so we'll bring down the heat a little bit more, because I'm sure what we're about to do in a bank is not going to be good. Okay, we're at the ah, bank. You must be the fire technician they called in. Welcome. Okay, we've got a signed document. Head on over to the left, and you'll find the room where you can do your inspection. Good morning. Okay, access the drop phone. Big a... Good. Well, you made it there. Use the drop phone to gain remote access to your laptop. And remember, stay within the room to not raise suspicion. Okay, so we've accessed the phone. Go to the inspection room, utilize the drop phone, remote access your laptop. Uh, okay, so yeah, oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So we can copy that. If we go into the terminal, we're going to run nmap, and we're going to go to RIP. I've got to exploit my own computer. Okay, uh, SSL TLS. Okay, so we need Hackify here. Um, what was it again? SSL TLS 1.0. Okay. We brought that. So we're now going to go use, and the name is SSL, L, T, L, S, whatever, Malaki. Oh, didn't like that name. Try that again, because something uh, went funny there. Why won't it let me move on? Okay, maybe we'll just try and uh, copy that again. Okay, I don't know what happened there. And it's to my IP, which is up here. Okay, so it should open up the port then for us. Upload the injected elect surge to the server, triggering a firmware anomaly that shuts down its firewall. So we need to upload a file. Is it the electro guard, right? Elect surge. Is it the injected one? That's what I'm assuming here, right? All right, I'm gonna to need to copy that name because it's a big name. Okay, so we need to upload next. No, that's not right. Uh, maybe it is right. Upload. The firmware anomaly sequence has been initiated. Get out of here before they notice. Okay, so we need to disconnect. This has nothing to do with us. Run away. Fire inspection was good, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh dear. Their database has been compromised. It will take some time to piece things together and uncover what they were hiding. Currently, we have a situation involving former President Ronald Grump. The sensitive documents he possesses within his laptop are highly problematic, particularly if someone else were to obtain them. We must take immediate action to ensure their deletion. Okay, looks like I'm going after Donald Trump here. Um, interesting. So anyways, anything new here in the recent news? No, nothing new.
Okay, so we need to go to the underground web. Let's so see what my alert status is looking like at the moment. He is very moderate. We do get two more cipher credits. Normally drain. A normally drain rate 0 0.4. I'll take a 0 0.3 out. That's not too bad. I think we probably want to reduce the digital footprint to penalty threshold. I think that will help a lot in the long go. Okay, anyways. So, side gig. Okay, so what do we have to do? Penetrate Ronald Grump's laptop, eradicate classified documents that pose significant risks, ensuring they never fall into the wrong hands. Okay, so terminal. We need to run an nmap on this. Uh, so nmap. I can't believe we're breaking into Donald Grump's uh, server here. Okay, internal blue 1.03. Don't need that for a second. We do need hack and fight. Uh, internal blue. There we go. So we got internal blue 1.03, I believe. So if we use uh, internal blue, copy version 1.0.3 to the IP of. Uh, it is the 4034, isn't it? Yeah. Nice and easy. We do have an optional text here, so I wonder what that's going to bring us. Use intruder command. Intruder. The payload. I don't know what the payload is. Zero. I don't have the software. Okay. Uh, intruder is what I'm looking for here. Oh, I'm so confused. See, this is the thing. I don't know what I'm actually looking for. What if I put payload as one? This is most likely vulnerable to internal blue. Exploits can be purchased on the ground. So yeah, there must be something I need to buy here. Akafi burp. Design and is brute force attacks on websites to powerful software employees with advanced techniques. Okay. Do I need to cook that though? I don't think so. No, burp is already here. Okay, so we can ignore that. We'll try and use the same one again. So, intruder, IP, payload one. Okay, well, we're attacking something.
Okay, so this might take a bit of time, hey? Use different payload ranges between... Okay, so... Can, oh. Okay, so we gotta go through the payloads until we find the right one. Okay, well that makes sense now, so at least I know how to use this program, because it's the first time we've seen it. So if we go to uh, zero this time, let's see, can we break into it yet? Good old Donald Grump, he's uh... He's got good security, but not too good for me, just. What happens with the optional? Have a look at old Ronald Gump while we're waiting. Okay, so now we've intrude. Do I have to use to use external blue again? Yeah, okay. Perfect. So Vanguard 1. What is in Vanguard 1? Title, War Tank Specification. Okay, so, oh god. We could download it. I don't know if we want to... Do we, do we want to do that? Ah, screw it. Let's do it. Elon Musk has been ignoring our recent messages regarding the safety of his workers and his power-hungry agenda. We need to take a little trip into his mobile device to give him a wake-up call. Uncovering some of his private secrets will be a good Kickstarter for him. Oh, we're going after Elon Musk now. Okay, well, I, I should have sent the documents before, even though I've still got them. Alright, that's fine. Uh, if we go to the underground web den, so we've got some more side gigs at the moment. Still got no points here. That's all kind of okay, though. So, disgrace and least. Infinite Elon Musk's uh, mobile phone by assuming the guise of the employee of employee deception tactics to trick Elon Musk. Ultimate result on into their private photos. Okay. Let's have a look here, then. Compile the source file Credential Harvester malware using, if not already, Cook. Well, Credential Harvester we have, right? Is that That's that. Now, let's just, just double check. Okay, so there's something else here. Okay, no, we've already got Credential Harvester. Okay, so we're going to go into my go mail. And compose a message to the following email address, rdtesla.com. Okay. Select the suitable subject and utilize Credential Harvester. Okay, so we're going to get the Credential Harvester. I'm going to assume Automobile will work here. Maybe a meeting? Oh. What about a report? A report could work. It's a tough one. It's going to be automobile. I send the report. Let's see what happens. We might send another one. Okay, it doesn't look like we're getting anything. It was the car one. Okay, so we can now log into their emails, I believe. So 
So that's his email. We're going to use RD at Tesla. Then invite Elon Musk's email and compose a message to him. <laughs> King X. Okay, so we're going to compose from here. So he's going to think it's from his own company. Uh, we still want Credential Harvester. I suppose reports. All right, let's go. Oh, it did work. Okay, so I have collected some uh, credentials here. Sign into the acquired email address. Okay, so idiot users is his. Uh... <laughs> All right, I've got two go mails up here. So let's uh, log off of you. Search with an email and identify potential cookie values. Okay. Establish a connect to the system using the the value connect. Okay, well, I don't think I've done it like this before, so this is the first one. Uh, it's definitely this. I don't know, is it all of this? This is the thing now, you see, this is where I don't have the experience. No IP found. What's the cookie value? Maybe it's just this bit. Mm. See, you guys might be shouting at me now. And uh, it's probably easy for you guys. So maybe the cookie value is just this bit. Aha! There we go. Okay, so it's after the cookie. Apologize for the bird going off in the background. Okay. What is it that you want me to do here? Establish connection, download the file named Sexy Elon Mask. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> Send Elon Mask news to either Tesla Magazine or... Okay, so obviously we can... We could probably get a load of money off him if we threatened him. So, I don't know, do we go for him? Okay, send file name is sexy Elon Musk. And do we want to send it to the magazine or go to him? Let's go to him directly. Let's see if we can uh, we can get something out of him, maybe. It could be good or bad because he could send his whole force down trying to find me. I don't know. We're doing it. We have completed the search through Axis Bank's database. Unfortunately, no valuable information regarding Serpent Nexus was found. However, we did come across a file named Drifter.zip, which many believe to be connected to an old forum named Drifter on the dark web. Your task now involves decrypting the file and uncovering its content. Okay, so we'll, we got a main gig now. Shadows of Power. Delve further into the Serpent Nexus grip on the positions of power. Navigate the treacherous landscape of government officials and corporate executives. Requires John Software at Nexo Guard. Oh, right, okay. John Software, which is 50. Now, that's already here now, so that's good. 
What was the other one? Nexoguard malware. Okay, so I am going to have to cook that one. Uh, terminal. We need to get some cooking going. Okay, so John, this is the first time we've used John, so it looks like it can do something, generate a hash file. Okay, so hash to John. And the file is called drifter.zip. Okay, no idea what it's going to do, but it's doing something. Okay, so we have the hash file. Utilize the generate hash to crack the file name drifter zip command crack to John. So crack and then it'd be drifter zip again. Hang on. What did I do wrong there? Crack drifter.zip. And file. Ah, okay, so it's this one. There we go. No idea what it's doing. Gonna take a bit of time. We got some news. Any news? Not really. Okay, password file created drifter.h. Read the list of people involved in the drifter forums. Where the hell do we find the forums? Um, ah, okay, we've done it. Read the forums involve the drifted forums. Okay, utilize the web search engine to gather information on the individual with an unusual traction transaction purpose. Okay, so, um, Time sensitive delivery. Right, it's gonna have to be this one, isn't it? Because he's got special something. So what we're gonna do is run harvester on him. Okay, so we've got the IP, so we need to run nmap. So we're running nmap now. Internal blue 1.02, I should already have that. No. I didn't have that one yet. Okay, so we're going to now go use internal blue... Uh, version is going to be 1.0.2 uh, to the IP of U. Okay, so that's got in quite easy. Happy with that. Okay, connect to the server utilizing uh, use. We've done that. Uh, upload the NexoGuard Trojan malware to the target's mobile device in order to extract their current location. 
Okay, so Trojan something we, we need to put in here. Um, malware, obviously. Nexo guard. Okay, so if we do that. Uh, so we want to upload... There we go. So that should now put up the malware. That's a simple disconnect, apparently. There we go. That was a hidden directive. Okay, so we know where he is. Okay, so we're going to send that to go after these red orbit. I feel like that's what we should do. What's the worst that could happen, right? Okay, well that's not scary. Okay, I've got four Cypher credits. Our heat is quite low, actually. Um, normally drain rate, 0 0.4. I would definitely do that. So it drains faster. That's what we want, right? I'd actually nearly be tempted to do two of them. Currently, we're compassionate. Right, let's exit the computer. Oh, I need to... Oh, hang on. Marketplace. Housing. Medium apartment for... Fed oh, look. I got, wow, where did all that money come from? I need a medium PC and a touchscreen remote. Okay, I need some other things. Um... Okay, so we can now go to our new apartment. Welcome back. We've been occupied with recent developments. Regrettably, a disconcerting incident has transpired. A report has been filed concerning a missing person, Jessica Davis. Despite their best efforts, the police have been unable to discover a single clue about her disappearance. Alrighty, so we're going to be looking for someone in the next episode by the looks of things. Wow, our apartment looks a lot nicer all of a sudden. Clearly I just fell into an absolute crap ton of money, right? Where are we working from? Wow, this place is huge. I've only got $800 left though, uh, which is a bit sad. So, to be honest with you, all these things, I don't know if I still need them. I think maybe we just delete these files now. Unless I'm using them for some sort of espionage of, uh, you know, going after people. Okay, so it wants us to find a damsel in distress. I don't know why I could not say that. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, things are looking okay. Um, 
So what would they want us to do? Search in there for information about Jessica Davies. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Tomorrow is release date. Let me know. Do you want one more video before it's released tomorrow? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like bell. And other than that, thanks for watching. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.